There's no way to get around it. If we want to have spiritual wisdom or be spiritually mature, we can't do that without a regular practice of reading scripture. And like I shared this past Sunday, my absolute favorite way to devotionally dig into scripture is to use the daily office in the book of common prayer. Here's a quick from what I talked about last Sunday. Offset, and this is just my own kind of personal life. The way that I offset this is I've got to, in my devotional life, I've got to find things that are the least academic possible. And I love the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer and um, its daily office readings. So, so this week on the home sheet, if you pick one up on paper on the back table or if you go online at myfoundry.life to get the home sheet, there's actually a link to this week's daily office readings. And I love the office because it's not one of these read the Bible in a year plans. It's not this like very like logical, methodical, like we're going to read through a whole book at the same time. It's a Psalms reading. It's a New Testament reading. It's a gospel reading. It's an Old Testament reading. It's, you can do it like in 10 or 15 minutes. And it's not academic in the least, but I love because it, it keeps me moving around the place. And a few weeks ago, our text from today was the gospel reading. So I'm Chad Brooks, pastor of Foundry, and I'm really, really passionate about people reading scripture and about finding ways to resource just like normal folks in their Christian life. Now, the Book of Common Prayer can be a little complicated. You know, I found that uh, if you dig onto you version, you can't find the reading plan on you version, which is one of my favorite ways to read scripture. Best way I have found is just to go get a hard copy of the Episcopal Book of Common Prayer off of Amazon. Now, I'm probably gonna do another video later on down the road of exactly how to understand it, because even doing that, it can be a little frustrating, but I still maintain that I think it's a fantastic reading plan uh, because it has you reading all of scripture. It has you in the Psalms every day, which has become a treasure. It has you reading the Old Testament every day. It has you reading a gospel reading every day, and it has you reading a New Testament reading every day. And it's maybe the, like, the cumulative result of like three or four chapters of scripture a day. What I also love is every time you think you're going to kind of get bored with a story uh, or with a narrative, especially in the Old Testament, you end up changing to a different way. Or with the Gospels, it has you reading across Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I love uh, the trajectory it takes you through the book of Acts and how it moves throughout the seasons. I love how I've never actually tried to count it out, but I imagine you probably read the whole book of Psalms at least twice a year if you're using the daily office. So like I said, I shared about this a little bit on my sermon this past Sunday, and I wanted just to kind of dig in deeper with what this looks like, or maybe you weren't there on Sunday and you didn't hear this, but I'm Chad Brooks, pastor of Foundry, and I'll see you later on.